Hello, this is Gary Yelton with Keyboard Magazine. I'm at MoogFest 2012. I'm here with Phil and Paul Hartnell. Uh, gentlemen, uh, let's. Uh, could you show us around your uh, gear? What do you got here? Sure, yeah, sure. sure. Yeah, sure. Let's start with the brain. Um, so we're running Ableton. We've got the entire set um, in one, just in one song. Um, you know, it spans, I think, about 300 by. Uh, how many? Yeah, it's good. yeah, they're about 100 or so down, 100 and something. But um, so that's that's the whole thing. Then we're running like a custom version of Grid on the iPads. Um, this is actually, if you look at the clip view, you can see this is kind of how many clips we've got in our setup. And um, basically, we've got a special kind of song feature here that selects whichever song we want, and it sort of puts them. It jumps straight to that song, but the cool thing is I can go like that and change each of them individually so I can kind of start mixing up different bits of different tracks. Um, we've got special effects going on here, different delay times there, and this thing is just sort of spinning out loads of different functions all at the same time. Um, sort of controlling all the sends to the, this is all to the, just the clips, um, you know, it's exclusive, all the analog gear. So this is just for um, basically the sampling stuff in there and the, uh, and the clips, basically. And so I'm controlling all the effects from there, various kind of drum mutes and various kind of mutes that I don't want on here, that I don't want to interfere with the kind of basic structuring of the tracks. But this is where I do all my arranging on this, you know, in this place here. Um, and that's yeah, basic basic mutes like desk mutes, but for for the Ableton. And then we come on. How, how you how you? Because there's nothing's in an arrangement. Nothing. No, it's what I was saying. It's a clip. It's a clip yeah. view, isn't it? This is basically Ableton clip view. So there's no arrangement playing. It's just a case of sort of bringing stuff in and out, turning it on and off. You know, doing doing what, whatever you want really, just sort of improvising the whole arrangement. But then we get on to the synths. And we've got this MFB Dominion X, which is currently, um, for touring purposes, replacing our Macbeth M5N, which um, it's you know it's pretty completely different, which is quite good fun actually, changing since halfway through a tour. Um, but yeah, the, the Macbeth is just it, not handy for travelling, as you can imagine. It's the biggest synth I own. Um, so yeah, this has been doing a great job of that. Um, we've got our two Moog synths as I would call the Moogs normally, but as I'm here. <laughs> um, we've got the Slim Fatty and the Voyager, which are doing tons of stuff. We've got our even tide effects, uh, the Faithful 909. Oh, yeah. um, that's been with us for oh, donkey's years. Um, uh, we've got a Tempest as well, which is actually at the moment, because it wasn't in our kind of workflow when we were writing the stuff, um, it's not actually doing much drums. It's mostly being a kind of Swiss army knife of all things and doing a lot of um, it, it, we're using it for drum fills and things like that, but it's also doing a brilliant job of being a, a, a really good um, synth as well. I mean, the synth engine in there is fantastic, just for you know for using as a synth. Um, you know, so we've still got the drums to really explore. What else have we got? A little sans amp in there. Um, I think sub mixer. The sub mixer oh, takes yep. all the outboard, all the all the all the hardware that we've got on stage to, to go to the sub mixer. And we've got the, the, the two, uh, uh, the delay and the uh, reverb here, uh, we add from here, basically. So we've got the sub mix of all the hard, just all those, the soft synths go through uh, Apogee out the front of the house. I think um, you're what, uh, orbital to one of the few bands I've seen here who have so many synths sitting on a table as opposed to DJ gear. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is, this is our slim fatty, um, uh, this is what I call us our slim fatty uh, version. Of our, because because uh, um, just for uh, like coming transatlantic and freight and stuff like that, because we've got like Paul's got huge synthesizers and and, oh, yeah. and Jupiters and Roland stuff. Which we, yeah, we started off the year running, bring... running a Suns into um, oh, yeah. Macbeth mm -hmm. M5N and a Jupiter Six. Um, so we've just kind of slimmed it down for for so transatlantic flights. Are you uh, using freight in, and stuff like that? You know, Japan when we go oh, to yes. Japan. So we just we yeah. So we've got the yeah, so we've got the uh, substitutes. Are you using soft synths on stage? There um, are some soft yeah. synths. Yeah, Which ones? Yeah, yeah. I'm using currently for, to do the. Um, I'm using a cross between Albino 3 and um, Massive to replace the Sunsyn. 
which is interesting it's a completely different sound obviously the sun seems really analog and sharp and angular and these are kind of fluffier and warmer but i'm doing completely different things it's quite good it's kind of revitalized the set halfway through a tour just when you get used to doing certain things at certain times it's like oh i've got to rethink my sort of poly synths and it's it's really nice I've, I've kind of set up on the controller there loads of you know filters and envelopes and things like that and i've got really nice stuff going on with um sort of unison on the pad and things like that so it's, it's kind of refreshed the whole the whole setup really. any samplers samplers we no we're only using um Oh, oh, sampler yeah. and simpler okay. in Ableton, you know, we right. replaced uh, But what we did do, where things used, because our favourite samplers were always um, Emacs's, right from the Emacs 2 onto the E4 Turbo, mm -hmm. um, where we've songs relied on Emacs filters, instead of trying to replace them in there, we've, we've made a loop of the Emacs okay. doing its thing, taking it out of the analogue output rather than doing any digital output, so that you've still got the inherent character of the, you know, the sort of DA converters, AD converters, you know, in the Emacs. Okay. Well, um, because I just think they've got a particular sound. Well, thank I, you. I think if you try and replace it, 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 it just doesn't sound the same. I understand. Well, thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate thank your you. time, and I look forward thank to you. Orbital Show tonight. Thank Cheers. You. Thanks.